if you go cheap with pitcher, you can pay up for some of these bats here. You got Juan Soto, Bryce Harper, Sterling Marte. Are you paying all the way up for any of these guys? I think I'd like to pay up for a few of those guys, which is why I also want another cheap option at first base in Rowdy Telez. At 2,800, he's the 33rd most expensive first baseman on a slate that only has 18 teams. That just doesn't seem right to me. Uh, last year, his results weren't that good, just 89 WRC+, plus, not nearly good enough for a first baseman. But if you look under the hood a bit, uh, 20% strikeout rate, better than average by a few ticks, and an 11.6% barrel rate. That looks a lot like, say, Nick Castellanos. Uh, he actually was about a percentage point better than Castellanos in both of those. So his frequency and quality of contact are pretty good, and we're seeing that so far this year. He's got an 885 OPS. He'll get the platoon advantage against Zach Thompson, who is about as bland as it gets. Uh, he has a 3.30 ERA for his career, but the ERA estimators, many of them have him in the mid fours, uh, below average strikeout rate and about average in terms of walks and ground balls. So I think a guy like Telez is going to show why he's a lot better than his results were last year uh, today against Thompson and the Pirates. All right, Nick, favorite hitter on the slate. I will say before I talk about Jared Walsh that Eric needs to take it easy going after Zach Thompson. He's writing DK Nation articles and he's pitching for the Pirates right now. Totally unfair. Um, <laughs> but more importantly, Jared Walsh, 4.3K. Again, talking about another first baseman. I'd love it even more if he was still had outfield eligibility. Maybe that changes over the course of the season. Um, but he is mashing right-handed pitching early on. Oh, you know, again, limited opportunities for everybody across the board, but still he's done well against right-handed pitching. Um, and this is a guy, Luis Garcia, who he's hit well throughout the course of his career, 16 plate appearances. Appearances, two home runs, two doubles, seven for 11. In every regard, he's hitting well against this guy. Uh, so I think you'll get him against another righty right now. You got to go for it when he has good history against him. Robinson Cano, too. Double check, of course, if he's in lineup. Got the day off on Sunday. 3.6K if you're looking for a little savings. And a guy who I would assume is not going to be very popular. He has seen Alex Cobb quite a bit over the course of his career and done really well, too. I think that's another, just another guy that you could sneak in if you're looking for a value play in the middle infield. 